North of Los Angeles tonight, firefighters are trying to contain a wildfire that's been threatening homes. More than 1,200 acres have burned since the fire started last night near the coastal community of Salamar Beach. Here's Maria Villarreal. Dramatic video captures what evacuees faced as they drove right past the erupting fire. They were fleeing the small community of Salomar Beach and a nearby campground, battling the traffic as the flames edged closer. This is insane. Why are we stopping? Oh the God. fire shut down US 101, a major link between Los Angeles and Santa Barbara, jumped the highway, and also closed the Union Pacific Rail Line. Ventura County Fire Battalion Chief Fred Burris. The fire was wind driven uh, with an offshore wind and blew down to, to the coast. That's where firefighters made their stand, preventing flames from reaching Salomar Beach, where three dozen upscale homes are sandwiched between the highway and the Pacific Ocean. We're hitting it with everything we got. We're making an all-out assault to get this thing boxed up, especially with the heavy weather. Ventura County Division sure Chief Norm Plot says torrential downpours driven by El Nino may be on the way. But in the past six weeks, this part of the county has received less than one-tenth of an inch of rain. The fire is going to resist our control uh, because we're at the end of this drought. Well, hopefully we're at the end of the drought uh, and we're not quite out of the woods yet. But even when the fire is fully extinguished, residents here could face a new danger, mudslides. We're still uh, predicting an El Nino to fall on the hills uh, after the first of the year with heavy rains, and so that's something that I'm sure engineers will be looking at uh, for stabilization uh, if we do get some heavy rains. Investigators still don't know what caused this fire, but at this point it is only 10% contained, and gym firefighters tell us they expect to be out here for at least three more days. Medea, thank you very much.